Hello everybody, it's me, Adrian Zay Quallard, and welcome to a preview of my next challenge series, Minecraft The Daisy Mod. Now our last challenge series, if you guys didn't know, um, is, um, was, <laughs> I can't remember actually, um, the Biodome, or Biosphere Survival, I still don't know what it's called, even after all this time. <laughs> but yeah, we did that survival before the new year, and... Uh, my initial, I initially wanted to try planetoids out, but I decided um, that because um, it's kind of similar to Biosphere, we'll hold it off for now and we'll do something else instead. So I'm gonna, we're gonna be trying out Daisy Survival. Now I've been messing around with it, as you'll be able to see in this um, video. I've just been like messing around, testing the thing out to make sure everything works, and getting an idea of how I want to do things. Now there are actually more ways I can do this. I actually found. Now one of them is I could do what um, another YouTuber does and basically there's this YouTuber I can't remember his um, full title let me go look him up quickly okay it's uh, Rock Guy Rocky I believe there are other YouTubers who do this kind of thing by the way so it's not just them but yeah they do like a hundred day survival with different scenarios like as the wolf and such and I kind of want to do a similar thing with that with this series as an idea basically the premise will be to like try and survive in a daisy filled world for a hundred days in hardcore mode and if I die we'll just reset and we'll try again and such that's the idea we'd like a Nuzlocke like a Pokemon Nuzlocke So yeah, I'm not sure how I'll do it, maybe I'll stream it and then afterwards I'll edit it into like highlights, like Psycho does with his Nuzlocke's in Pokemon, so we could do it like that. Now there is um, other things, now, um, well when trying out the mod, I have noticed that you can, um, that in theory it is possible to beat the mod, like, you can get to the end, like I actually found that there are end structures around the... My problem was that I couldn't find any like Enderman, so I thought, oh, it wouldn't be possible because there's no Enderman. And there isn't, so there's nothing to solve it out. I tried checking around in the Nether, the Nether is normal, but it doesn't spawn any Enderman, unfortunately, so... Because of this version, I guess. I'm not sure why. Anyway. Zombie Pigmen seem to spawn in and everything else sort of spawns in, so I don't know why the Enderman aren't, but maybe it's something else going on, but whatever. But yeah, we can't get any Endermen, so we can't actually get Ender Pearls. But I actually found that there is another way we can get to the end in theory, which is because there is one thing in this mod that it does have, and that is villagers, like villagers. Like you, like um, I believe in my video, you actually see me go to a village, and I actually remember that some of the villagers have a chance to trade you um, Eye of Enders, so you could, in theory, like get a bunch of emeralds and then trade with them and get a lot and then trade them in for eye of enders which you could use to find the strongholds and then fill in the end pool the problem with that it would be a lot more te it's a lot more tedious than just killing enderman like 10 times more because you actually have to farm a bunch of emeralds either by mining or by trading with the villagers and uh, you don't just find emeralds in chests, unfortunately, so you actually have to put in a little bit of work. There are a lot of villages, though, so you could, I guess, go from village to village. The only downside is the zombies kind of go for the villages and they kill them. Now, um, I'm not sure which way I'm going to go yet. We can go either, either or. We could do a 100 day survival. We could actually do a legit survival. The thing about the legit survival is it's kind of like... It's kind of too normal at the same time, like, in the last last time we did the challenge series, it was possible to beat the game, like, I did win, to a degree, it was, I had my victory in the end. It was difficult, but I did manage it. <laughs> and honestly, I think with that series, that kind of works, but at the same time, it's complicated. The other thing is, like, the whole point of the series is Daisy, right? You don't, like, you don't really care much about, like, getting, getting to the end and, like, actually playing the survival. 
Because I actually found, like, if you watch my video, like, I make a base and stuff, and I actually have, like, items on me because I was messing around with the world. But yeah, I found that, you know, you can do norm everything normal in Minecraft. You can go mining and stuff, but there really isn't too much danger in it, I found. Like, zombies will spawn. Don't get me wrong, you know, it's still day Z, and zombies are still about. There's nothing out, there's nothing different about the the world or anything. The only real difference is the fact that the zombies spawn like at day and night and that there are guns, I guess. So it's kind of, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's weird, I don't know, it's kind of complicated to say, but basically, but yeah. Now, um, a few side notes. In this video, you actually notice I do have, like, a first bar. Well, interestingly enough, I actually found in the ZZ mod, they actually have a first system. Like, over time, I found, I found my character would say something like, my mouth is getting dry, and I'd be like, why? And, just, like, I found that there is, in fact, a first in the mod. For the sake of this video, I actually turned it off. I'm not sure if I want to turn it back on or not. Because uh, what I've done is I actually added the first mod, as you can see above my hunger bar, but but that's actually separate from the um, from the Daisy mod. So we actually so if I had two, so if I had both of them, I would effectively have two first to worry about. That isn't, I guess, a big issue because there are a lot of drinks in the world. The problem is it's kind of weird because you have to worry about it too. Now I can't just remove the first mods. I'm not. I can't just do that and just deal with the daisies first. It wouldn't mean it wouldn't be the end of the day. You know, the reason I added the first mod is because I wasn't sure if they added the first into the daisy because when I last checked out this mod, I don't think they had it or whatever. I mean, I checked a bunch of reviews on it and they didn't say they had it, but. I, I don't know, I only checked once so, though, you know, I checked Pablo and Moe's and in his video it said it didn't, so yeah, I thought I'd mess around and I actually found that it did for some reason and I don't know what that is. <coughs> but yeah, so I'm not entirely sure what I want to do about that. Yeah, I might have it on honestly just for added difficulty. But yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do with the first one. I mean, I could have both and make it extra hard, or I could just remove it, whatever works, I guess. There isn't too much else to mention, I guess, as side notes. I got the standard mobs, like, backpacks and stuff, although I noticed the zombies don't drop brown flesh, so the brown flesh to leather mod is useless. However, I did find that um, animals do spawn normally. Like, you can find, like cows and pigs and stuff they do spawn like every now and every so often so you could kill them i guess but yeah honestly i think there's trouble uh, this this thing i'm struggling is with is how i'm going to do this series like do i want to allow crafting or do i want to allow mining do i want to allow this or that like what would be the idea what would be more fun Fun because I don't know if it would be incredibly fun if we just stood in one place and did nothing for a hundred days and just cheesed the whole system, or if I actually wanted to like explore and like make it kind of complicated. Like I'm, st I'm still not entirely sure. I don't I ignore the coughing that's going on. Sorry, <laughs> but um, <laughs> like I, I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure I'll figure something out, but. Right now, I'm kind of at a stump of what I'm going to do with the series. But yeah, it's not going to be a long series, it's just going to be me having a bit of fun. It's not supposed to be fun. There's also two worlds I noticed. There's the original world, which is the one you've seen, and then there's a snow-filled world. There's nothing different about the snow-filled world, gameplay-wise. It's just the environment is just, you know, snow. What lakes and waters are now ice. So I guess it's a little bit difficult in that regard, but... You know, I guess if you like a winter wonderland, you could go for it, but I don't know yet what I'm going to go for when it comes to the actual environment. I don't think it really matters. There's no, like, temperature or anything. You don't get cold, thankfully. There's no blood meter either. I tried to actually add in a blood meter, and it doesn't work, funny enough, because they 
the Daisy mod has its own bleed effect. It, don't, it doesn't have like a blood meter itself, it just has like a bleed effect when you get hit, you, you'll start bleeding and you have to like use a bandage or something. I actually found that you could remove the bleed effect with milk, funny enough, which is kind of amusing. In fact, I think I did in this video, you may have noticed it. And I actually befuddled myself. But yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do with the series. I'm sure I'll come up with some idea within the next week or so. But yeah, I thought I'd have a, a video beforehand to explain what I want to do and where it's going forward. And I guess once we come around someday, I'll explain, I'll have an idea in hand. And yeah, you know, I'll just start brainstorming some ideas. But yeah, I just... <laughs> I just want to make this series a bit more interesting than just, you know, mining and stuff. I mean, I kind of did that with the survival series, but not, well, not the survival series. The modern survival series, where I, like, never mine and just go out and do stuff. And only really mine it off camera if I need ores. But yeah, anyway. I think that's all that I have to note. I don't think there's anything else. No, I did note some of the items are craftable. Like, I can craft planks and bats normally. Like, you don't actually have to search for them, you can just craft them. The only things you can't craft are the guns and the ammo and some of the other, a few other items here and there. You can craft a lot of the wooden things, though, so, you know, it works out. Anyway, I'll leave um, here, I guess. And I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming series. It will be fun, I guess. And I'll see you guys then. <laughs> Bye.